of the great theorems of the ancient world, Pythagoras' theorem. In order to get perfect right-angled corners on their buildings and pyramids, the Egyptians would have used a rope with knots tied in it. At some point, the Egyptians realised that if they took a triangle with sides marked with three knots, four knots and five knots, it guaranteed them a perfect right angle. This is because three squared plus four squared is equal to five squared. So we've got a perfect Pythagorean triangle. In fact, any triangle whose sides satisfy this relationship will give me a 90 degree angle. But I'm pretty sure that the Egyptians hadn't got this sweeping generalization of their 345 triangle. We would not expect to find a general proof um, because this is not the style of Egyptian mathematics. Every problem was solved using concrete numbers and then if a verification would be carried out at the end, it would use the result and these concrete given numbers. There's no general proof within the Egyptian mathematical texts. It would be some 2,000 years before the Greeks and Pythagoras were proved that all right-angled triangles shared certain properties. This wasn't the... the Babylonians are recognised as one of the first cultures to use symmetrical mathematical shapes to make dice. But there is more heated debate about whether they might also have been the first to discover the secrets of another important shape, the right-angled triangle. We've already seen how the Egyptians use a 3-4-5 right-angled triangle. But what the Babylonians knew about this shape, and others like it, is much more sophisticated. This is the most famous and controversial ancient tablet we have. It's called Plimpton 322. Many mathematicians are convinced it shows the Babylonians could well have known the principle regarding right-angled triangles, that the square on the diagonal is the sum of the squares on the sides and known it centuries before the Greeks claimed it. This is a copy of the arguably most famous Babylonian tablet, which is Plimpton 322. And these numbers here reflect the width or height of a triangle, uh, this being the diagonal. The uh, other side would be over here. And uh, the square of this uh, column uh, plus the square of the number in this column uh, equals the square of the diagonal. They are arranged in an order of uh, steadily decreasing angle on a very uniform basis, showing that somebody had a lot of understanding of how the numbers fit together. Here were 15 perfect Pythagorean triangles, all of whose sides had whole number lengths. It's tempting to think that the Babylonians were the first custodians of Pythagoras' theorem. 